Morning, good morning. We are here at the Diamond Factory. And what is the Diamond Factory? The Diamond Factory is where we gather with like-minded people so we can get our day off to a good and a positive start. Yes, we are here on the 11th day of October. Can you believe it? Almost halfway in, almost just 81 days away from the end of the year. That's right, 81 days. But guys, we can make such an impact. We can make such an impact on with these last 81 days because I saw in a post last week, I saw in a post and a post said, you have 88 days left in the year. And what have you done? What have you done? And that got me to thinking, I was like, wow, 88 days left. And what have I done with my year? And then I started thinking, I started thinking that I could write down at least 30 people that I have helped and assisted in losing weight, losing weight, changing their um, health, reducing their meds, or getting rid of their meds altogether with their doctor's approval, changing people from not being able to sleep at night with insomnia, helping people with their anxiety, their pain. I can name 30, more than 30 people that I've helped do that with or given them the knowledge for them to make the choices. I could also say that I did bio scans and blood work on at least 100 people. And then I start feeling better about the accomplishments that I had done. What had I done? I had gone on my own health journey. I had changed some things in my own household. I had reduced consumption of meat 85 to 90%. I had diligently, with along with a team of other people, been showed up on every other Wednesday to help change people's lives by scanning them, their families, with no cost, but just giving them the knowledge. And then I start feeling much better about my year because you know what? Sometimes you don't give yourself the credit or you do play small. But what that gave me was to know that sometimes when we're doing the right thing, the enemy is always going to be there showing up. He's going to let th let us think that we're not doing the right thing. But when you sit down and you look at what the God, and I say the Lord, that might not be your higher power, it is mine, that has allowed me to do, to stay consistent, to stay faithful, to go out there and get the word out about changing the health of everybody. First, our household, then our community, then us on the line joining forces and doing that collectively that we can change the world. You know, sometimes we play small and we don't think that what we're doing counts. But when you ask those people, how does it feel now? to not have that pain, to not have that depression, to be able to sleep at night and know that you had a small part, you played a small part in changing that. Collectively, the people, the, uh, our team that's on the line right now, collectively, how many people have we change the quality of their life this year? How many more can we affect and change these 81 days that we have left? See, guys, we have to keep our minds stayed on the positivity, the purpose that we were brought here uh, for. The enemy will be upon us. And you know if the enemy is putting doubt in your mind, opposition, you know, obstacles in your path, then you know that you are on the right path. You are doing something that a lot of other people are not doing. He doesn't have to try to attack them because why? They're doing exactly what he wants them to do. But you, if you've got opposition, sometimes problems, sometimes st stress in your life, then know you are on the right path because you're out there living your purpose. You're out there doing things that are affect and change and better the quality of life of so many other people. And as we talk about it, you know, lately we've been talking about 
um, race and the vibration. Now I see that all the time. I don't know about you, but I see that all the time about raising your energy, raising your vibration to the highest. What do you expect when you walk into the room? Do you expect doom or gloom or do you expect life? Well, if you expect life, then you ought to walk in there shining like the life that you expected. See, if you want to attract great people in your life and people that you can get on your whole, your plan and change the world, because we can change the world, then you need to, number one, stop talking about people. That's not going to attract the right people to you. You're going to attract those that are doing the same thing. You want to build up people. You don't want to tear them down. So the first thing you want to do and stop talking about people because then you will start attracting those people that will be on the same bandwagon with you, helping to change and live their purpose and raise a vibration every time they walk into a room, every time they walk into a um a health center, a hospital, raise the energy up, be the light that everybody is want, wanting to be. And then don't talk about your problems. Hey, talk about the solution. Be about the solution. Your problems will be there. We already know there are issues and there are problems. But if you talk about them, that means that your subconscious said, hmm, we like these problems, so let's dwell in the problems. No, don't talk about the problems. Be about the solution. Be about the change that you want the, to, the outcome to be. And the third thing, you want to stop focusing on the results. Well, I've been talking to people all week. I haven't got one person to sign up with me. I haven't got one person to see the importance of a founder's path to be the in the 1% of people that are earning the um, being a paid a part of the total revenue of a company that's going to hit 10 million, going to hit 25 million, going to go to 50 million, 100 million, a billion. No, you're talking on the other side of that part. You don't see it yet, but if you continue to do what you're supposed to do, you will reap what you sow. So don't worry about the results. If you're sowing, then you shall reap. And those are the things you should fix your mind to do. You should think about now, what is it that you want to do with these next 81 days that we have less left in the year 2020? We can make some change. And collectively, we can be some of the baddest human beings walking the earth because you have a purpose. We have a mission. We even have a plan, guys. Did you hear Melissa say that people are doing the bio scans, then taking it back to their doctors? And we know already what doctors have done. They prescribe medicine. They've dealt with, and I, don't get me wrong, I love doctors. There are doctors out there that are on the path doing what they need to do for people. But we know the majority don't think holistically. They think medicinally and that we will be medicated. And that's not what we need to be. We need to start taking care of ourselves. And I think Erica Zachary shared a um, a link, a YouTube video, and I listened to it yesterday and I was listening to this doctor. He is a medical doctor trained at Stanford University, but he believes in holistic living. He believes in being plant-based and all the things that are in his mind and what he has uh, experience over the 48 years that he has been plant-based and it has changed so many lives and it got me to thinking about how I better get on this path. You know, we're doing, we're raising our frequency. So we're taking it to another level, but that 85 to 90% of less meat needs to go moving up closer to a hundred percent because if I want optimum health, I need to treat my body like the temple that it is. So again, it doesn't have to come all at once, but we have to keep elevating. We have to keep raising our, our frequency. We have to keep going to the higher level of our vibration so that we can be that change that this world needs. And I'm going to close with this because sometimes life gets in the way. You know, doubt gets in the way. Fear gets in the way. And I have led this scripture for the last 30 years has kept me, even those times when I succumb to what's going on in the world. The scripture says, and that is 2 Timothy or 1 Timothy 1 and 7. But what it says is, 
God did not give me the spirit of fear, but of love, of love, of love for all mankind, but power and a sound mind. <laughs> and the doctor reminded me, guys, that sometimes we can't have a sound mind when we're putting the uh, flesh of dead carcasses in our system. Our veins, our neuroplasms are being all clogged up. So that made me think and say, yep, I better move that 80 to 90 percent less meat on up closer to 100. And so with that being said, short and sweet this morning, today is Tuesday. I want you guys to go out and have a what kind of kind of day. We can bless the world. Our Founders Pack is a phenomenal opportunity for anybody to change their wealth, their finances, leaving a legacy. And while doing that, getting healthy around like-minded people. And before I go, let me look at this text to see if there's a message from one of y'all. So it isn't. So guys, go out and have a phenomenal kind of day. Remember, don't talk about people, don't talk about your problems, and don't focus on the results. Just get out there and spread and be the best you that you can be and change the world. Bye now.